Hey guys, I'm back to talk more about startup project management. Today, we're going to talk about a day in the life of the startup project manager. So I've talked about all of these different pieces that can feed into startup project management, but what does that mean in terms of an actual day? What will your day actually look like as a startup project manager? I have taken bits and pieces of my previous positions in this area and kind of extracted those commonalities that are gonna show up in your day-to-day -day and made the perfect project manager day in startup. So here we go. To start out your day, you will probably feel very much like a project manager. You're gonna be managing timelines and looking at resources and things like that. You'll start out your day by checking your email and responding to stuff like you can and flagging things that you need to get answers on or respond to later. Then you're gonna go into your workflow and task organization system. You're gonna look at everything you have assigned to people, see if anything urgent came in that you need to kind of reprioritize. But for the most part, you're gonna say, all right, this looks great. Easy day, right? Next thing you're gonna do is you are going to go to your daily standup. And I'm gonna do a whole other video on standup because there's just so many pieces to stand up. Even though it's a quick gathering, there's a lot of pieces in order to get it right. So in standup, as project manager, you're probably going to lead standup, but you could attend it uh, depending on whether or not you have someone else doing that scrum facilitation sort of role. If you're leading it, then you're gonna to wanna to pay extra close attention, right? So in standup, there's really three questions that we're asking everyone. What did you do yesterday? What will you do today? And are there any blockers? That last piece, are there any blockers you're gonna to wanna to pay extra close attention to as the project manager? Because the answer to that question is going to define what you do after standup. If there are any blockers, and there will be blockers, you will need to follow up on them and help get resolution. So it could be anything like getting clarity on a spec, or it could be getting a response from a stakeholder, or it could be something like maybe there's an engineer that is out sick and they have a piece of a project that another person is dependent on to kind of do their work. So you need to keep things moving. How do you shift all of this around to keep moving? Could be something like that. So you're gonna spend some time resolving blockers. After that, you will likely have some sort of a meeting it could be a meeting with leadership where you're giving kind of like high level overview metrics on where you're at with projects and things like that, delivery dates. Uh, or it could be a meeting with a client. Maybe you have a client that is implementing a feature or like a new project um, or you're testing something and maybe you're on the phone with your product team and your client or your client team and your client and you're getting some feedback. And as project manager, you need to be on that call uh, to listen to what the follow-up items are, uh, to ask the right questions, and just to make sure that all of the right information is going to where it needs to go. Because remember, your client team usually lives in client, and your product team usually lives very close to product, but you as a project manager are gonna live in a lot of different areas. So you're kind of that glue that's gonna need to hold all of that together. Okay, so after that, it's gonna be time for lunch, okay? and. We need to take care of ourselves, all right? So go to lunch or eat lunch at your desk and go for a walk, do something, disengage for a little bit because not only is it good for your mental health, but you're gonna be more productive if you just take a minute for yourself. So do that, give yourself some time. When you come back from lunch, this is when your day sort of uh, becomes less like a typical project manager and more like startup. So what I've seen a lot in my day is maybe there was, um, you know, some sort of an urgent thing that popped up. Maybe there's a bug, a really major bug, and you need to get an engineer working on that bug. But usually in startup, you don't have engineers just kind of waiting around for bugs. Um, so you either need to take an engineer off of something they've been working on, or maybe you do have someone that is just uh, working on bugs and that kind of stuff, but they're probably working on a different one. So you need to figure out priority in that way. Uh, that's a typical thing that could happen as a project manager you have that sort of puzzle to figure out. You could also do QA. A lot of times we all get pulled into QA at startups. So maybe it's a new feature or something or a client project that needs to be QA'd. You may be involved in that as project manager. 
Um, the other major thing that you'll probably be pulled into quite often is defining specs or writing user stories. You'll work really closely with maybe your UI UX team or your product team to really um, define what different pieces of the build are and then break those down further into user stories and break those down even further into tasks in those user stories. So those are gonna be things that you see filling up your afternoon. Uh, and before you know it, it's the end of the day. And that is really what a day in the life of the startup project manager is like. And as you can see, there's just a lot of different places that you can get pulled, a lot of different things that you're doing. You started out the day, uh, you know, organizing tasks and doing this and that, but you could end the day, um, you know, talking about building a new feature and how you're going to do that and really defining those pieces. So it's it's very broad, but it's exciting. It's really exciting work to be involved in. Um, and I hope this gives you a good picture of what the day in the life of a project manager can be like.